Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how you can build your very first AI agent team. I'm excited to walk you through this practical example that you can follow along, even if you have zero AI experience. So let's get started. So today we are going to create a sales information agent. It can automatically gather data about prospects and companies. How cool is that? This can save sales teams hours of research. The best part, we'll be using Relevance AI. It's a new code platform that makes building these AI agents accessible to everyone. By the way, if you're new to AI agents, I have made a detailed video on what AI agents are and I'll leave the link somewhere here and in the description so that you can dive in further. Today we'll use Relevance AI to create a simple yet powerful multi-agent system using a four-step approach. First, we'll identify the right opportunities, the right opportunities that AI agents can solve. Secondly, we'll define the roles and capabilities of each of these agents. And then we will map out how they'll work together. And finally, we'll implement this using Relevance AI. For our step-by-step -step guide today, we are focusing on a common sales challenge, as I said earlier. Let's now design this multi-agent team for our sales use case. We have three agents that we have designed. One is the manager agent. What the manager agent does is that it receives email requests. It determines if the request is about a person or a company and then it delegates it to the appropriate sub agent. So as you can see, there are two sub agents here. The first sub agent you can see is the person info sub agent. What the person sub info agent does is basically search LinkedIn profiles and extract the information about a person. And the same thing for a company info sub agent, which searches for a company on LinkedIn and extracts that relevant company information and returns that back to the manager agent who formats it and provides us the response. Now that we have designed the multi-agent system, let's map out how these agents will work with each other. So the flow is that if sales rep first sends the email requesting for information, and within this email, we're going to say a specific word like info in the subject so that our manager agent understands what this email is about from the subject. Right? And based on these keywords, it determines whether to look for a person or a company. It then delegates it to the appropriate sub agent. The sub agent gathers and formats the information. Finally, the manager agent compiles everything that the sub agent provides and emails it back to the sales rep. Now that we have designed the multi-agent system as well as the workflow, now let's go to the Relevance AI platform and create the agentic system. So first up, if you have not signed up for Relevance AI, it's a pretty simple process. You go and follow the sign up procedure. Once you sign up for the Relevance AI platform, it should usually pop up say asking you to create a new agent and if it doesn't pop up for creating a new agent go to the main dashboard and click on new agent so you will see an interface like this starting with the agent profile so what we will do is we'll create the two sub agents first because those will be the agents which we will provide to the manager agent so this is a person info agent so as we said earlier the person info agent gets the agents gets the person's Per profile from LinkedIn and the information from LinkedIn. So for that, if you look at the core instruction, you'll see it's a prompt. So the instruction here is that it should search for this person's LinkedIn URL from Google. So basically, we are going to search for the person on Google and from based on the search results returned, we take his URL and we'll use that URL to provide it to the LinkedIn scraper, which will scrape the LinkedIn profile information for that person. And then this agent would extract that information and pass it on to the manager agent. So now we mentioned two things. One, one is to search on Google and another is to scrape LinkedIn. So these two needs tools. And if you can see, we are saying here that 
you know, search this person's LinkedIn profile using the Google search tool and extract and summarize LinkedIn profile tool. So that two tools is something we need to provide first. So actually, first you need to go and provide tools for the agent. So I just want to explain what this, how this agent works. Now, here are the two tools. So basically you click on add tool, search for the tool, and there are multiple tools available on Relevance AI platform. So here I search for the Google search tool and added that. I've also added another tool, which is to extract and summarize LinkedIn profile information, which is what we want to do here. One of the things you want to do is to turn on auto run. Usually it's on uh, the default is on approval required. And so it will keep stopping for you to approve before it proceeds. So now we have the person info agent, a sub agent, and now we'll create the company info sub agent. And as you would assume, the company info sub agent is also similar. Here we are get, going to get the company information. And so for that, we have similar tools, Google search. And here we have the extract company insight tool, which is a tool to extract the company information from LinkedIn. And within the core instruction, we have a similar instruction to look for the company's LinkedIn page URL using Google search tool. Then we take that information, extract the company insights from your company information using this company insights tool, and then extract and pass the relevant information to the manager agent. So both these agents are passing the information back to the manager agent. So now let's see what the manager agent does. So here is the manager agent. Now the manager agent, there are a few differences. One is the trigger. So this manager agent receives an email and that's a trigger for it to go look for this information and return that information to the salesperson. So for that, there is a trigger here. We are using an email trigger. It can be multiple triggers. As you can see, it can be even a WhatsApp trigger, a Telegram trigger. So now I'm using Gmail actually here and within the Gmail. So how do we do the trigger? So here, what we are saying that any of the email that comes in the inbox, which has a subject of info. So we do not want this agent to be triggered for all emails because there are so many other emails coming in. But if there's a certain keyword and I've chosen the keyword info. So if there is an info within the keyword, we want this agent to be triggered. And sec the second thing for a manager agent that's different is the sub agent. So here we are configuring the sub agents that we had configured earlier which is the person info agent and the company info agent. And it's very easy to add by adding the add sub info sub agent button, right? So, and then as in the previous uh, sub agent, here also we have a tool and here we have just one tool, a tool to send a response back to the person because that's what this manager agent does. But the main thing in the manager agent is the core instruction. So again, this is a big prompt. And we are telling it different things that you are an info agent providing information and things like that. But the core part is looking at the subject of the email that's received. And then we are saying within that email subject, if there is people or person or similar words. So what the salesperson is doing is that if he wants a person's information, he will say person info and he will give provide a name, for example, Nandan, right? And then if he wants a company info, he's providing within the subject, he's saying company info and he's providing a company name, for example, Bot Nirvana. So what the this particular manager agent does is that it, it looks at the subject line and based on the subject line, if there's a person and if it's a person, it what it does is it calls the person info agent and gets the details. And then it gathers all the relevant information from the person info sub agent that we saw earlier. And then it sends a final response to the email using this tool that we configured, right? Which is the email to customer tool. And same thing for a company. It, it does, it calls the company info agent. If within the subject, we have company info. So, and then it can, you it formats it in a good manner and sends it back to the salesperson. Now the exciting part, let's test this out. So all we need to do is send an email to trigger as you may remember. So we write a simple email 
with the subject person info right we either say company info or person info in this case let's just say person info and then we provide the name of the person which in this case i'm just giving my name here and then we have sent it so i've sent it to the system and then what happens is that the manager agent which is the sales info agent receives that information and then here it has received the information and it said the subject is person info and it has got that and so it perform these two steps what is it one is that it delegated it it to the person info agent right it's the sub agent because we had person in the email subject now if you look at that conversation it what it did was that it went to that person info sub, sub agent it had two tools if you remember the google search and the extract and summarize linkedin profile so it did a google use use the google search and then it extracted the link uh, first it got the url for that uh, person so he got it got the linkedin url linkedin this thing and then it it so it it said okay the linkedin url for this person is this and then it use this to extract the linkedin profile information which is this and so it, the person info agent provided this information which is the profile information for that person once the information is received it's using the send final response email to customer tool which we had configured within the sales info agent and formatting it and sending it back and if you look at the inbox now of the person who sent that email for that information he would have got that information back and you can see that email here and it says the hello this person here is a linkedin profile for this person so congratulations you've built your first multi agent ai team it solves a real business problem in sales now this same approach can be applied to other scenarios like customer service automation any operational workflows and document processing and more and within your organization too you can follow this same four step process identifying the right opportunity defining the roles and capabilities of these agents designing a workflow for them and implementing them with the right tools now i hope this tutorial was helpful if you found value in it please do hit like and subscribe and we'll be i'll be sharing more practical ai agent content here so i'll see you there